Check her out. This is Jamie, and I'm Pastor Smoking Orphan. What's up, my Geechee babies? So, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing because we be lit over here. And do you want to say anything to the vlog? This might my, my daughter with me. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. <laughs> she acting brand new. But today. <laughs> so in today's um, weekly, this is this is going to be a uh, weekly vlog because I got a lot of things. Well, a couple of things to do this week. A fun filled week slash weekend so this vlog i got some errands to run i need to run to clinic small so that i can pick up apple headphones for my son because he wanted me to get him those you y'all y'all know how old teenagers are he wanted those headphones and i promised him that i would get him them headphones and then i need to go ahead and pick up my mom's um mother's day gift i want to go ahead and get that out the way and go ahead and send her that so if you are just seeing this vlog this vlog probably most likely will drop after mother's day so um happy mother's day um, to all the mothers out there but yeah that's when this vlog will drop but I want to go ahead and get her Mother's Day gift out the way so I won't have to worry about that because I plan on going on a trip in the next maybe two three weeks I'm going on a trip so I don't want to have to worry about that and wait till the last minute and we'll have to go through all that rush when getting her gift and then I'm about to go run and pick up my sister because she's going to run with me to the mall. And then we probably go to um, this restaurant called CNS Seafood because I saw Taja. Um, um, if you don't follow her, follow her. Um, I saw Taja talk about their shark grill oysters. So I said I wanted to try them because I'm a, I'm from, you know, I'm from Charleston. So we, we love some seafood and crabs and oysters. So. Yeah, I want to check that out. But I said, let me pick y'all up and take y'all along with me on this vloggy vlog day. So, yeah, I'll pick y'all back up once I pick up my sister and then we'll head down to Lennox. All right. And that angle. Yeah, we found the angle. <laughs> hey, everybody. What's your name? Jamie. This is Jamie. You guys need to check her out. Check her YouTube. Go like, follow, subscribe. Check her out. This is Jamie. And I'm Pastor Smoking Orphan. Thank Peace, you. Peace, y'all. Okay, y'all, so now I'm on my my phone because I, apparently you can't vlog in um, Lennox Mall, supposedly no more. But now I'm just at the Apple Store waiting. Hey, um, I need to get the headphones. The headphones? Um, yes. Like the Maxes? Like the yes. Ones? Yes. Did you know what color you want them in? No. No? What color y'all got? I'll show you. Okay. Just um, come out line for me. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. Okay. Um, let me know what color you want, and I can get up. All right, thank you. In the Apple Store, finally. Now I'm about to get the headphones for my son. So yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Thank you. You're so welcome. Yeah, y'all. So we made it out of Lenox Mall. So now we're on our way to see and seafood. Just got parking in this garage. So got everything that I needed. Got my mom Mother's Day gift that's gonna be sent to her house. So yeah. All right, y'all. So we were just leaving CNS Seafood, and I got the shark grill oysters, and then I got the um, shrimp po' boy. Which the shrimp po' what? Well, I take that back. 
the shrimp po' po' is to eat later. But when I see them shark roll oysters, them shark roll oysters was busting. You hear me? Tasha put me on to something. Them shark roll oysters was busting. I love me a good shark roll oysters. And then now I'm on my way. I'm sitting outside of Walmart because I'm waiting on my sister to get a few things up out of Walmart. And then after that, I'm headed on into the house. So once I drop her off, I'll check back in with y'all at the house. I can show you the things that I got when I was in Lenox Mall. What's up family? So it's been a couple of days since I picked up the camera. It's been about, I last picked up the camera. That was, I believe Tuesday when I had to go down to Lenox Mall. So that was the last time I picked up the camera. But today is Saturday, officially 420. So happy, four, happy Stoners Day. This is the Stoners Day, the day for the stoners. So happy 420 to all the stoners out there. I don't personally smoke, but I got, you know, friends and family that do smoke. So, um, I will be partaking in some of the activities that, um, is going on today in the city for 420. I believe I have two things to do today. Um, one is like a, it's almost like a paint, paint and sip or event. So I'll be doing that later on today. But before I do that, I'm going to be going to a bonfire. I'm supposed to be going to that around about two o'clock. But as you see, I'm parked right now because I just got to finish door dashing because I wanted to get some um, extra money in my park pockets. So if you don't know, I'm an HR director, but I also door dash on the side for some extra money. So that's what I just got to finish doing door dashing on the side. Um, so I'm just finished in that up and now I'm about to head to the house so that I can, uh, you know, take my shower, makeup, hair, and get dressed so I can head to this bonfire event today. Um, supposed to be at two o'clock. So I'll be chilling, handling that until later on today when I hit up like the, I guess it's, you know, like I said, the sip and paint or smoke and paint, whatever you want to call it. So I said, let me pick up the camera, check back in with y'all, but since I haven't checked back in with y'all since Tuesday, but I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about today. Cause yeah, I, I have, I felt like I haven't done anything in a while. Like I haven't done anything since my New Orleans trip. So I said, well, it, it, it's 420, it, it's time to get lit, go out there, drink a little bit, have a little good time and yeah so other than that i'll check back in with y'all once i get to the first event and then i'll pick up my camera now y'all might see that the quality is different because i'm using my phone but i'll be picking up my camera bringing my camera with me so yeah we about to we about to get into it so i'll, I'll check back in y'all when i get to the next event y'all so we just coming back from the event that we went to it was at bonfire it was a 420 event at bonfire we're just getting back and it was really good i really had a good time i'm looking forward to going next year um they had different food vendors out they were playing the music people were selling desserts selling hair care products um it was just a different type of vibe Nobody was on no crazy demon time. Nobody was trying to fight. Everybody was minding their business. They had security out there. I just had a really, really good time. And I'm looking forward to going next year. Um, I'm getting myself together for the next event, which is the Sip and Paint. And that starts at 7 o'clock. So I said I'm going to lay down, relax for a little bit change and get ready to go to that event and then i'll check back in with y'all when i get to that event okay <laughs> Good morning, y'all. All right.
right y'all so um today is the next day it is sunday so i gotta tell y'all how the event went yesterday the event went really good i really had a good time at the puff and paint and the puff and paint basically was you know a event that like you go to if you smoke or if you don't smoke but you're you're painting a canvas that they put out for you they had um you know food available it's bring your own bottle but if you didn't bring your own bottle you could um buy alcohol there as well so it started at i believe nine o'clock nine at night and i think it lasted till maybe 11 or maybe midnight i don't know we stayed a uh, hour and a half but i really had a good time and I really enjoy myself on 420 even though I don't smoke but I really enjoy myself so now it is the next morning um, it is 11:59, and I'm out here catching some DoorDash orders so I'm on my way to my first um, DoorDash of the morning I said I'm gonna be out here a while I'll probably do this for a couple hours but might as well take y'all along with me while I do my um, DoorDash go ahead and include this in the vlog um, this order is for 10.25 for 6.3 miles. So let's go while I get this first order. All right, y'all. So I just picked up the order, and I'm on my way now to drop this order off to the customer. I meant to tell you guys, this weather out here in Atlanta is so bipolar. Just yesterday the it was over 80 degrees now it's rainy and raining real bad so now the weather has dropped down to what's 52 degrees so now it's 52 that's why i say this weather out here in atlanta is bipolar but i'm on my way to drop this order off to this um customer so i need to be paying attention to this road and i will check back in with you guys after it drop this order off and we on our way to the next order for another customer. Yeah, y'all. So, I had like a little mishap. One thing about DoorDash, they'll have you go to an address. And the address don't even be where you need to be. The the customer, uh, dang on, tell you some other place that you need to go. So, don't know about DoorDash. DoorDash is a gig app. And it's for um, someone, a customer, to deliver your order to you in the comfort of your own home or business or school. So I am delivering DoorDash on the side for some extra money because basically DoorDash was there for me when I had no job. So it's going to be kind of hard to really give up DoorDash. Hey, Chitty. It's okay. I give y'all a hard time finding this location. It's right here. Right. Thank, thank you. you. No problem. All right. Thank you. So, yeah, I just dropped that order off to the customer. So now I'm waiting for the next um, order to um, pop up. But before that order pops up, but yeah, like I was saying, DoorDash is a gig app that um, deliver foods to you in the comfort of your own home or business or school or whatever like so and so so i like i said i'm an hr director i doordash on the side for extra money most people will be like okay why are you still doordashing if you got a job as an hr director well i'm gonna tell you why i'm doordashing as a doordash is still doordashing on the side as an hr director because i can't give up doordash like that doordash been there for me when i had no job it, when it was hard for me to find a job DoorDash was there. I know I was going to get some money whether I had no money or not. So, it's kind of hard to give up when you're used to doing DoorDash on a regular. So, I still do it for some extra money. Um, so, I really don't have to touch my work money. My work money would be um, used on like the main bills. But DoorDash is just like extra money to put in my pocket for like gas, food, things like that. And with DoorDash, sometimes this is all what people do. This is their main job because you can set your own hours, um, work it when you want to work it, and it's just DoorDash really came there, came through for me. 
Um, this is some people's main job. This all they do because the you you know the economy today. It's hard to find a job. I'm even looking for another job and still having a problem with finding another job. But with that being said, the next order popped up. This order popped up for um, eight twenty five, and it's for four miles to go to Dollar General. So I am going to accept that order. And yeah, let's go. I got to make a right here. All right, so I'm on my way to Dollar General. This is a shop and deliver order. So if you don't know, this is what a shop and deliver order looks like, right? So I would just click on start shopping and you would pick up these things that the customer needs you to pick up. And they give you like a red card to swipe it to pay for that customer's order and then it'll charge the customer on their end for the things that they requested from Dollar General. So I'm about to go in Dollar General and pick up these orders for this customer. They give you 16, they're giving me 16 minutes to pick up eight items that the customer requested. So I'm on my way into Dollar General to get these orders and I'll be, I'll check back in with y'all once I get back in the car from getting the customer orders. Gas housing, you're struggling to pick me out of the school. They have to come up with a store new. All right, y'all. So I just got through getting the things that the customer requested. So now I'm on my way to drop off those items to the um, customer's house. Looks like they are um, six minutes away. But yeah, I said, let me show y'all things that you have to do as a DoorDash driver. I probably will do a more in-depth vlog on DoorDashing, which making sure I get everything into the vlog. like. You seeing me scan um, the things that the um, customer requested. So I probably saved that for another blog. But I just wanted to let y'all see what you do a little bit as a DoorDash driver and include this inside of the vlog. So, but yeah, like I said, I'm on my way to drop this order off to the next customer. They are five minutes away from here and I'll check back in with y'all. All right, y'all, so I just dropped that order off. I just accepted my next order. My next order is seven points, I believe 7.6 miles away, and that's for $18. That is to go two different, it's two different drop-off locations. So it's to go to the liquor store, but pick up two customers' orders and then drop it off. And it's 7.6 miles total for $18. So I'm on my way to um, the liquor store to pick up those two orders for those customers. And then I am going to drop them off. That's why I say like DoorDash is, that's some easy money if you just want some extra money or you need some extra money on the side to pay some bills that's easy money to, to make because all you're doing is picking up customers orders and drop it off to them in the comfort of their home because obviously they order in DoorDash or another app because they don't feel like going out to get the orders themselves so they got somebody like me that's willing to do it because I ain't doing nothing else on this Sunday to pick up their orders to get some extra cash in my pocket so why not? Why not get some extra money? I mean, that's the quickest way if, you know, you want some money to get some money. Because, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it if I ain't got nothing else going on on this rainy Sunday. Especially when it's raining and people don't want to go outside their house. Because, you know, it's raining. You got somebody like me that's willing to do it. Okay. <laughs> all right especially if i ain't got nothing going on why not but yeah i'll check back in with y'all because i'm on my way to this liquor store to get these customers orders. all right y'all so i'm just picking up this liquor order oh let me tell you 
when you door dashing and you start to get the hang of things, it's some places that you really hate going to in this liquor store. I really hate going to this liquor store. And the reason why I hate going to this liquor store is because this liquor store, when you're trying to come out the parking lot, it's like, it's hard to come out the parking lot because it's right ne next to a intersection, interstate right there. So everybody's coming off of the interstate and you having a hard time trying to get over and then it's a light right here so yeah people don't like to let you over here in Atlanta like they they drive crazy out here they don't like to let you over they funny acting so yeah I got to concentrate on trying to get out this parking lot to get over to drop this order off to this customer but um but um yeah these people is is, is funny acting but this customers this customer is only like three minutes away from the where I need to drop their liquor order off at. And yeah, that's the, like I say, DoorDash is easy. It's what you make of it. You trying to get to some extra money, you trying to get to that bag, it's possible. Um, I have a goal set in mind today. So once I reach that goal that I have set in mind today, then I'll stop for the day. Cause I try to make a plan every day when I'm dashing. Like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to make this this amount of this this day, and then once I make it, I can go ahead and stop. So I try not to think, oh, oh, I ain't get there yet, or I'm counting down the time till I get there. No, I just let it flow and check back in and out to see if I've got close to the goal or reached the goal yet, and yeah, keep it moving. So trying to get to a bag I, I got things that I'm trying to do want to do and yeah I ain't got time so yeah let me go ahead and drop this order off and I'll check back in with y'all I'm on my way to drop the second customer order off and the annoying thing about DoorDash when it comes to like I said when it comes to their GPS is they'll tell you one thing and then you will have the customer tell you call you and be like oh you turned too early or this is not the place that I'm at so now you are driving around trying to find where the customer is actually at so now I'm not seeing the apartment where they at or I'm driving around in the apartment complex and actually got to find the actual number where they at that's annoying it's annoying as hell like DoorDash that's one thing DoorDash needs to um get together is making sure it's the the correct location lines up with the gps because i get tired of driving around trying to find the customer's correct number or address so yeah that's just some a few things that's annoying annoying with um DoorDash, and I don't even know how to get over there to get to the correct address of the customer. So, but yeah, let me go and try to. What is this? This is. Um, yeah, let me go try and find this customer's address, and then I'll check back in with y'all once I'm done. All right, y'all. So. Excuse me. I finally found this customer address. Ooh, this is another order. So they want 10.4 miles back to that same liquor store that I hate going to. Two different orders. So 10.4 miles for $13. So I'll put that in the screen so y'all can see that. Um, yeah, but like I said, I I'll probably go ahead and accept that. But I just got through dropping that customer order off so now i'm trying to get about this neighborhood because yeah this is a bit much but yeah let me go and drop the pick up these next orders drop it off and then yeah i'll check back in with y'all and if i don't check back in with y'all then y'all know i'm out trying to get to this money but if i don't check back in with y'all i'll talk to y'all later so a few moments later Hey y'all, so it's the next day. Um, I picked up um, some things from Ulta because I know Ulta had a sale. 
So I'm going to show you the things that I got from Ulta. Also, I had um, two packages that came in because I'm going on a trip in the next two weeks. So I have a package that came in from Fashion Nova and I have a package that came in from Sheen. So I'm going to show you those pieces that I got for my vacation. And yeah, so let's see. So I picked up this brush from um, Ulta. So this is a Real Techniques. Um, it's a setting power and highlight brush. Um, I also got some more of the Mario that is, I, I don't even try to pronounce the last name, but I got some of the Mario. So this is really good to spray on your face. Um, I also, I see that now that uh, Ulta is selling the Touchland. I don't know if I'm late or not, but I see that now they're selling the Touchland hand sanitizers. And I usually pick these up from Sephora, but now that, um, I can get them from Ulta. Um, I'll probably start getting some of them sometimes from Ulta. But I also went on Amazon. And Amazon is also selling these. And Amazon is selling them for a package of five. So you can get five of them for like, I think it was like $47 or $48. So I said I'll probably start ordering them off Amazon. Because they come in a case of, well, a package of five. So yeah. And then I picked up this NYX butter gloss because I love a good gloss. And yeah, that was that was it because I know they had a sale. So I didn't spend no more than um, $28 um, at Ulta. But yeah, so now I'm going to unbox this um, package. Now I'm going to unbox this package that I got from uh, Fashion Nova. For my trip, so I'm gonna show you some of the pieces that I got from um, Fashion Nova. So, and I'm also trying it on for y'all. So I got this. Ooh, let's see, let's see, because just in case I need to send it back because it don't fit. So I'm trying to be careful with opening this package too. So. So I picked up this sheer pants to put over my bathing suit bottom. So I have something to wear over my bottom while I'm on the trip to Puerto Rico. So it's just like a basically a sheer see-through type uh, pants, like a cover-up for your, your bathing suit. And I got that from Fashion Nova. And I can't remember how much it I can't remember how much of that costs I probably end up linking it in the description box so you can see what item I got but I got it in a 1x um, and then I I also got this two-piece set from Fashion Nova and this is the skirt right here to go with it and i'm gonna try it on so you can see how i look and i got this in a size i believe one one x but it's a matching set and then this is the top to go with it and then i also picked up my bathing suit because the bathing suit is i'm gonna have like i said i'm gonna have the cover up pants to cover the bathing suit but this is the bathing suit that i picked up and it's like a one piece. So this is the top to cover it and the bottom. So I'm gonna show y'all how these things look. All right, y'all. So this is the two piece set that I got from Fashion Nova. And this is how it looks on me. This is how it looks from the back. And this is how it looks from the front. And what I can say is this skirt is pretty, pretty long. Pretty long on me and it's very tight towards the ends but it's real real um stretchy so that's how it looks from the sides from the back and then from the front so i got this for vacation wear yeah y'all so this is the bathing suit that i will be wearing on my trip so this is the bathing suit and then this is the cover-up pants that covers the bathing suit so this how it looks 
Um, it looks really good on me. I, I, I'm very happy. Oh, I gotta make sure all of this is together. But this is how the front, it looks in the front. And then this is how it looks in the back. But I don't wanna show too much because I don't know how YouTube feels about things like that. But yeah, I'm very happy, very satisfied with this outfit. So yeah, those are the things that I picked up from Fashion Nova for my trip. So, but I think this is probably gonna end up being the end of the vlog. So I'll check y'all back on the next one. Peace.